Uh, let's get a look at the stock market first up with Elio D'Amato. He is at Stockopedia. Elio, how are things looking on this Thursday? Well, as the famous uh, Jim Carrey said, Raf, somebody stop me. Well, uh, basically, that's how desperate we've become to find superlatives to describe the market hitting new all-time highs once again. Currently, the All Ordinaries is up around 0.9% at the moment. Uh, even oil last night, that slowed down the pace of its decline. Um, iron ore, unfortunately, in Singapore trade didn't get the memo, though it is still above that crucial $100 US per tonne mark. Other base metals were mixed in London trade. Uh, gold prices resumed their run up. On the currency front, though, the Aussie dollar continues to weaken as the world goes long the US and short China. Currently, we are at 66.6 US cents, down around 0.4. Uh, from where we were yesterday. Um, all sectors are in the green this morning with the best being energy after three consecutive down days, but uh, really take your pick. Uh, there's lots of corporate news out there this morning as we uh, start to get into quarterly production reports and the AGM season, but uh, starting with, well, you can't just ignore them because of their size, but BHP provided an upbeat quarterly production report today, flagging its iron ore division has made a faster than expected start to the new financial year. Uh, uh, which has extended to the production of all major commodities that it's involved with, uh, leading the company to reaffirm uh, guidance. Now, the uh, stock is uh, currently up around 0.16% at the moment. Uh, beleaguered fund manager AMP says it will ret oh, it has returned sorry, $1.1 billion to investors in the form of dividends and share buybacks as they uh, simplify their business and grow from a much smaller base. Um, all the while, over the recent quarter, it has shown net cash flows of some 76% growth into its wealth platforms on the same time last year. Investors very happy with the tone there. The stock up 12.36% at the moment. Um, in an otherwise ho-hum production result for the quarter, Santos confirmed that it had completed work at its M Moomba carbon capture storage project, with it expected to capture some 250,000 tonnes of carbon this year alone. Now, it will be one of the biggest sites in the world when fully operational. Um, basically, it's going to capture some 1.7 million tonnes of CO2 every year. Uh, the stock is up, uh, just having a look, around 1.1% uh, at the moment. Uh, but part of that being the uh, positivity there, but also their production. Uh, Treasury Wines has raised the glass to their performance thus far this new financial year, citing its move towards a luxury brand portfolio as uh, assisting them and uh, growth in Australia and Asia going well there as well. The stock up 3.3% in response. And big car accessory provider and bull bar maker, ARB Corporation. Well, it's holding its AGM today. It's telling investors that its order book for the year ahead looks very strong. And I'm going to remember that the next time I hit seven kangaroos in the CBD, tow the mobile home and carry a 500 litre fridge on the top. All the while, just dropping the kids off at school. Uh, and uh, yes, the stock's up. And in breaking news, Star Entertainment is going to be fined a lot, uh, but it's going to keep its licence in Sydney which is what was hoped. Uh, the stock is uh, currently in a trading halt, though, at around 25 and a half cents. And that was all in our very busy market open, Raf. Too big to fail. Casinos, you can find them. They never seem to lose their licenses. Uh, Elio D'Amato there from Stockopedia.